Hi there, I'm Georgia and welcome back to another Tea with Dream where I just ramble on about a few things that have been on my mind recently. Please ignore my hair, I need to get it redone soon. I just realised it's not a Tea with G without a cup of tea, but I just can't be bothered to go downstairs and get one. So this is Tea with G, but just without the tea. <laughs> now I have many irrational fears, like what if this piece of chicken that I'm eating is not cooked enough and it's going to give me food poisoning, or what if that tiny little shard of glass on the ground is going to jump up into my eye. But one of my... I need to move you closer. One of my weirdest fears is when I'm sitting on the toilet and I just see a little bug flying around the room. And most of you right now are probably thinking, oh, she's just scared of flying insects when she can't really get away in a hurry. That's not that weird. Yeah, well, see, no, I'm not I'm not scared of said insect, <laughs> so to say. I, I'm just scared of what might happen if it uh, flew up my bum hole. Now, I know that this sounds totally irrational, but in my mind, this could totally happen. Like, th th it's possible. <gasps> because, although I've been hitting the gym uh, lately, you see, my booty still isn't quite big enough to cover the entire surface area of the toilet seat, if you catch my drift. There is definitely enough room at the back there for a tiny bug to fly into the toilet bowl, look around and mistake an exit for an entry. Uh, and if you still think I'm being stupid, some men don't even know the difference, so a bug could definitely get confused. So I'm sitting there... <laughs> Stay with me. So I'm sitting there, right? Just rushing my business now, starting to feel a little bit too vulnerable. You know, when you're like clenched, like in. I'm just like watching this bug like a hawk. Like, don't you think about it, buddy? That ain't a cave, son. And I'll tell you what, the fear that kicks in when this bug starts flying close to the toilet bowl. And I, I have to keep my eye on it. If I lose sight of this bug, it's gone up my ass. There's nowhere else it could have gone. And at this stage, my priorities shift to assassination. Eliminate the problem. So I'm sitting there trying my best to kill this bug while also trying to control my bowel movements like a ninja with IBS. And I tell you what, the satisfaction when you finally kill that bug. I just feel like you can finally relax and take your time. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was just water. <laughs> now, some unanswered questions I've had lately, right? Why do policemen still ride horses? Seriously, though, that's that's why cars were invented, was it not? I honestly, at this stage, I just feel like they ride them for a flex. Like, hey, I have a horse and you don't. Now, before anyone jumps down my throat, please take everything I say in these videos, like, with a grain of salt. I obviously know that they use horses for, like, crowd control at protests and things like that. And hey, I mean, it actually does work most of the time. But I feel like it's because they think it looks intimidating riding a horse into an unsettled crowd. Like some sort of power dynamic. But in reality, it's just because most people just stop whatever drunk, angry activity they're doing and, and go, oh, look, it's a horse. Another question. Who changes the arrow on the fire hazard sign? Who is it? Like, these signs are always just in the middle of nowhere. Like, whose job is it to just drive out there and go... Don't work, fuck. It's the same thing with roadkill. Like, who cleans it up? You, you never see them. Like, roadkill is just such a confronting thing as it is. Like, man, that shit just really catches you off guard. It's like, you know what I mean? You've just been driving to your hair appointment, listening to Olivia Rodrigo, and then you just see a dead possum with half its head smeared across the road and a small intestine hanging out its asshole. It's like, it's good. Fuck me, all right. <laughs> I always feel worse if I accidentally run over it. I don't know, there's just something so insulting about that. It's like rubbing salt into a wound. Oh, well, or in this case, a tire. <laughs> Back to my question, where does it go? Like I'll drive down the same road the next day and it's almost like it never happened. Not an intestine in sight. I have so many theories. I mean, apart from the obvious council cleaner. And they are one, a colony of ants. Two, a taxidermist. And three, a demogorgon. Also, how do the cleaner uppers know it's there? Like who tells them? Like, I'm guessing there's some kind of landline to call about roadkill, but I mean, that's, that's not common knowledge to me. <laughs> like I really want to know if there's anyone that actually ever called someone about roadkill. Because as far as I know, I just thought everyone drove past roadkill and went, Ugh. I hope someone cleans that up. <laughs> now I know this video is just jumping all over the place, but that's what Tea with G is. So with that being said, please stay to the end of the video as I jump to a whole new topic again, cooking. This video is sponsored by one of my favorites, you know them, HelloFresh. Today for lunch, I cooked Asian pork meatball tacos, and can I just say these were absolutely delicious. And so, so easy to make. This literally took me only 20 minutes. HelloFresh is one of the fastest and easiest ways to cook healthy meals at home. I have been buying HelloFresh for over a year now, and I can I just, I, I'd be lost without it. Let's be real. It's so efficient, and for someone like me that's always really busy and isn't always home, it takes so much time and effort out of my week by having all the ingredients delivered straight to my door. Right now, you can actually use my discount code, GPHELLO, to get up to $130 off. Click the link in the description to check it out. Um, I know that my uploads have been kind of all over the place lately. It's just because I'm really trying to keep up with all of my platforms at once. But I will soon have a lot more help to make sure my priorities stay here on YouTube because, because YouTube will always have a soft place in my heart and it's my baby. I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'm not moving platforms I promise. You can find me on TikTok at Georgia. Just Georgia. Alright, well that's it for this video. You know the drill. Give it a like and subscribe and share whatever you want to do. See you later, potato. <laughs>